It's the artist that exposes the hypocrite in society. It's the artist that exposes the exploiter and the exploitation. It's the artist who looks at people at ground level and says, what are your dreams and hopes? Artists reflect society around them. Basically, the artist looks at the identity, the value system, the ethical basis, and the narratives, the tragedies, the joys, the, the life and drama of the people around them. This is what the artist does in one way or another. The incredible wealth of arts in Africa, unbelievable, extraordinary depth of uh, creative thinking, the creative mind, and this runs all the way through all arts disciplines. In fact, they're all related. One can quite clearly see the direct re relationship between the world of poetry in Africa and the world of music, the world of theater and the world of film, with comedy, proverb, idiom, and the, the creative possibilities of people and society. Our policy at Book Cafe is no censorship. We've been punished by arrest, detention, threat, threat of arrest. When I was a younger person, I was involved in the liberation struggle and I had the ideals of emancipation and freedom. I was one of those who took part in the discussions around freedom of expression, emancipation, freedom of information in a new Zimbabwe. I was the founder, the original founder and creator of the Book Cafe in 1997 and before it the grassroots bookshop out of which Book Cafe arose, which started in 1981-82. The bookshop, grassroots books, dealt with directly with the issue of freedom of expression um, and freedom of information through books. It's my responsibility to develop the, the strategies around which uh, approximately 1,200 artists engage in, book, in work at Book Cafe on a year-by-year -year basis. We have established a very strong staging and development program. 900 concerts, events, workshops and public platforms every single year through Book Cafe. We are now building and developing and it will open this year a production facility with a multimedia, recording studio, film unit, library, meeting room, seminar room and other facilities, nuts and bolts facilities that young artists need in order to create an arts product in any discipline and then develop it, linking Zimbabwean artists throughout Africa. About one third of all our artists have left the country. It was HIVAS that was the first international agency to recognize what we were doing had a huge impact on arts development in Zimbabwe. When our artists come under threat, we need to be linked in immediately in order to send a message to the powers that be who may threaten the artist in Zimbabwe to stop what they're doing because the artist has done no wrong. They are only performing their duty and their responsibility within a society. That's all they're doing. We say, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs>